If you're a homeowner facing foreclosure, let's talk. During COVID, a lot of homeowners took advantage of COVID relief and the forbearance programs. And with that, we've seen quite a bit of delinquent mortgage payments. Here are a couple of options that you can consider to avoid foreclosure. The first option is to negotiate a mortgage repayment plan with your financial institution. So essentially, you're going to make a regular mortgage payment, but you're going to also tack on an additional amount that's going to be used to kind of pay down that forbearance amount usually over 12 months. Second, you may want to consider doing a deed in lieu of foreclosure. You'll sign over the title to the bank or financial institution in exchange to them releasing the mortgage lien. If you have equity in the property, and that means you owe less than what you can make from the sale of the property, then selling is an option. However, if you're in a situation where what you own the property is more than what you can get when you sell the property, the option available to you would be trying to go for a short sale. A short sale essentially you go to the bank and say that I can sell the property but I cannot sell it for all that I owe you, would you be willing to accept a lesser amount? For a short sale, you want to make sure that you're working with a realtor that's comfortable doing that. The realtor is going to determine a competitive list. Sometimes the bank is going to approve an amount based on the listing and the net proceeds calculation. In other situations, the bank usually approves each offer on a case-by-case -case basis, particularly if it comes in less than the pre-approved amount. So for example, you owe $325,000 but after the sale of the property, you can only net $300,000. After the sale, you'd be $25,000 short. If it's approved, then it's a short sale. You just need to be proactive and take the necessary actions to avoid foreclosure. The banks really don't want to foreclose on you because it takes a lot of time and resources. They're not in the business of foreclosing and selling homes and buying homes. They're in the lending business. So the quicker they can get the process over with, get their funds, they're more apt to working it out with you.